In this video, we'll walk you through how we built an AI knowledge agent that seamlessly integrates contextual data from four essential platforms, Slack, Google Sheets, ChatGPT, and your SaaS application. This AI knowledge agent has capable of answering queries by extracting relevant information from messages in a specific Slack channel, retrieving product data from Google Sheets, and evaluating user roles and security levels within your SaaS app, ensuring it provides accurate and authorized responses. Let's jump into an example to see how it works. I have a Google Sheet that holds product plans, configuration details, and pricing for a SaaS application. The LLM model processes this data to generate accurate responses based on the query, and a user, Willa in the SaaS Knowledge Agent channel asks, if I have a customer who needs 45 users and three workspaces, which plan should I recommend? The AI agent processes her request, searches the product knowledge database, and provides the most suitable plan along with a detailed explanation. Now let's consider another user who does not have permission to access pricing details. If they ask the same question in the same channel, the AI agent will generate a general response without revealing any sensitive pricing information. Looks amazing, right? The best part is that we can build this AI knowledge agent entirely without coding using our Cycler platform. Let's build it together. Before we dive into building the integration, the first step is installing the Slack connector. Cycler has already handled the heavy lifting by simplifying authentication and converting most of Slack's API endpoints into ready-to-use methods. These methods can be used directly within our low-code workflow development platform. Installing the Slack connector is quick and straightforward. Simply enter the client ID, client secret, and scopes, which you can retrieve from the application you create on API, slack.com. If you need more details, we've got a step-by-step -step installation guide to walk you through the process. Now let's build the first integration template by setting up an event trigger that listens for messages posted in specific Slack channels. To begin, locate the Slack icon under the webhooks category. Select the channel message posted method and drag it onto the empty canvas. Once added, copy the webhook URL from the method. Next, open the event subscriptions feature within your Slack app. Enable events and paste the copied webhook URL into the designated field. Under the subscribe to events on behalf of users section, add the workspace event message channels. With this setup, the integration is now listening for new messages posted in the specified Slack channels, allowing the AI agent to process incoming queries in real time. Next, we need to retrieve user information for the message sender. To do this, add the get user method and map the relevant fields from the first step. The user ID should be sourced from the event user ID of the sender. Now add a decision step to check whether the message comes from a bot or a real user. Since we only want to create responses for real users, this step ensures that bot messages are ignored. Once that's set up, go to the chats category and add the post message method. Configure the field so that the response is sent in the same channel where the message was received. Then add a simple reply confirming that the message has been received. With this basic setup complete, it's time for a quick test. Run the workflow, head over to Slack, and send a test message to see if the integration is working as expected. Continuing with the integration workflow, the next step is to check the user role and authorization level to determine whether they can access the knowledge base. The workflow retrieves user information from your SaaS application using a pre-built native connector. Typically, Cycler takes care of this process for you, eliminating the need for any technical setup. Our connector team ensures that your API endpoints are seamlessly converted into ready-to-use methods, making integration effortless. For next step, the decision field is added to the workflow. In this example, if the user role type equals one, the user is authorized to access the knowledge base. The decision step can also be made more advanced using tools like Switch to handle multiple conditions. Once authorization is confirmed, the workflow follows the green route. It then connects to Google Sheets, retrieves the relevant data rows, and provides this information to the LLM model to generate an appropriate response. The data source isn't limited to Google Sheets. It could also be PDF files in Google Drive, documents in Dropbox, or even a database. 
With Cycler's extensive connector library of 500 plus SaaS applications, integrating with different data sources is seamless and efficient. Just like in this example, you can simply drag and drop to configure the sheet ID and sheet name you want to connect with, making the setup quick and effortless. Now let's move to the core of the workflow, connecting to the LLM model. In this case, we'll integrate with ChatGPT. To do this, simply select the send user message method under ChatGPT connector. Next, configure a few basic settings, such as choosing the model type. In this case, we'll use GPT-40. For the prompt message, we'll combine static text with dynamic information captured in the previous steps. This includes the user's question from Slack and the data summary retrieved from Google Sheets. By structuring the prompt this way, we ensure the LLM model generates accurate and context-aware responses. Once we receive the response from the LLM model, we can send it back to the user through Slack. To do this, use the post message method, configure the channel and source the text from the LLM result. This ensures the user receives the appropriate answer in the Slack channel they use to ask the question. Let's now look at an alternate route in the workflow, which we won't build in full detail here. In this route, the user does not have authorization to access the knowledge base. As a result, it will skip the Google Sheets connection. Instead, it will directly reach the LLM model, and the system will respond to the user based on the available information. And that's it. The workflow building is complete. As you can see, you've created an AI agent with no coding required. This demonstrates how easily you can leverage Cycler to enhance your capabilities with different AI tools. We hope this has sparked some ideas for you. If you have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.